it's your girl purity again i'm back like i never left thank you so much for those who have subscribed to my channels for those who are watching my videos thank you so much thanks for sharing let them come let, the, let those subscribers come so today i'm back with more and more goodies guess where i am today i'm in nicosia which is the capital city of northern cyprus so guys i'm back with more good historical story as you all know i love history so today as you can see behind me there is a very long wall that was first built by the Viet Vietnamese. It was built in the early 1500s. So uh, the Ottomans came, they rebuilt it again because after some time definitely the wall will come down. So the Ottomans were building it because there was war between the North and the South Cyprus. That was war between the Turkish people and the Greek people. They were trying to, over to, to take over the Greek people wanted to take over the Northern Cyprus. But, so the Ottomans said to protect this northern side for their own benefit so guys that is why they had to build this long wall behind me so after the british people came again they had to as you can see there is roads that pass behind me so they had to break the walls to make roads for the cars and for the people to pass over to the south and the north cyprus so guys i'm going to show you that we are near the border between the south and the northern part so as i'm going there guys come with me and as, as you are going to enjoy this history part I hope you're going to enjoy this episode until the end. Come down. See you there. As you can see guys, that is it's called the Kyrenia uh, the Kyrenia Gate. Now it's used as a tourist information center. Yeah. That is the tourist information center. It's called the Kyrenia Gate yeah so that's it that's it definitely in kenya we also have this thing which was built by the ottoman yeah so that is the walls this is the beautiful city of nicosia Buda. Buda, so guys this man let me tell you what this man said so this was a church before but they decided to convert it into a turkish bath so he's telling me every day you can come here you shower with your towel like it's a special turkish bath place so for the men they come in the morning until one o'clock for the ladies you come from one o'clock until four o'clock so we were just late it was closed so he was telling me tomorrow i should come and enjoy my bath here so we were late it was a church but they decided to convert it into a turkey as you're seeing guys this street is so old just check there check during the the, the in invasion when the greek and the turkish used to fight they destroyed literally everything here there are some but when you enter this place the inside they they furnish only the inside but the outside nobody cares about it it's not furnished so this is the turkish bath i wish I, I could come early but next time i'll come early so that i can show you about the bath how you take shower so come let me show you what they just wrote here on the uh, on the so nicosia master plan walking tour it was saint george okay it was saint george of latin church as you can see this was a church before and so it was appreciating cyprus rich multicultural past ensures a more peaceful future the buyu kamam was restored with funding from the people of the united states through the that action of cooperation and trust program so thank you to you said for the america uh, who decided to rebuild this place so guys that is the history of the uh, turkish bath place which was a church before before that is long time ago and they decided to convert it into a turkish bath and it's literally free to enter this place take your shower have fun yeah and leave the place so guys see you on my next stop
Bye bye. We are uh, the border between North and South. I'm, I'm yet to show you the border gate, but uh, as you can see, this is where the Greek and the Turkish people they meet. They have coffee. They have their special Turkish coffee. Yeah, they meet here. This is how people they sit down. Yeah. Okay. We are heading to the mosque. I know where that is where everybody is waiting to see the mosque where it was once. A, it was a church. It's actually a mosque with a church name. So guys, see you there. As you can see behind me, it's now the mosque where everybody has been waiting to see. This is the street where I started life. This is where I started to work uh, when I first came to Cyprus. This is where I worked, I hustled, I got the first money from this street. I used to come here to look at the tourists passing around. Normally, before Corona, it, it's very busy, but now due to Corona, so many things have been shut down. So behind me, that is the mosque, as you can see. It was a church. It was a, yes, it was a Catholic church, but now, uh, it's a He's still asking me to go back and work with him, but oh my goodness, I don't want to go back there. I'm just done with this place. I'm past that. He wants me to go back and slave me up, but you know. Anyway, guys, let me proceed to my home. So, hi everyone. So, I have sad news. I just arrived here. The, the church, the mosque, is under construction. So sad. But anyway, I'm going to tell you about the history. So this place was a church before. So after the Turkish invaded this island and they took over the island, there, there is uh, the, the ruler is made to place this big church. It was called Saint Cathedral of Saint Sophia. So they converted it into a mosque. That is so sad. But all the Christian things like the Virgin Mary, I was told all of it is inside there. And you know, everybody like if you, even if you are a Christian or you are a Hindu, you are allowed into this mosque until a certain point. Uh, you can see all around when it gets open i promise to show you uh to show you so if you don't follow me on instagram please follow me at purity seki follow me on instagram because when the place is going to be open i won't redo this video i'm going just to show you pictures inside this church i don't know if i should call it a church or a mosque okay for now it's a mosque so it's so sad i wish i could come at the right time when the place is open meanwhile guys this place is still called um, Cathedral of St. Sophia, according to how if tourists can come, they come to Cathedral of St. Sophia, but the people around here, they call it uh, Selimie Jami, which means uh, Selimie Mosque. So it's so sad. Anyway, guys, I want to show you uh, from the up outside, because we are not allowed to enter the inside part. This is the largest existing, um, the, the largest existing building ever since uh, 1500. So you can see they have not even destroyed the color yet. Oh my goodness, that is the Turkish and the Cyprus flag uh, up there. It's so it's so beautiful. You can see the Catholic uh, the Catholic uh, way of building their church is still there. It's just that they extended it to become a mosque on top of there. But it had a cross. They removed the cross and decided to put that Muslim a mosque sign. Yeah, it's a very large, large, large mosque. I I was told it has it holds up to five thousand people at a time. Yeah, so when the place is going to be open, I'm going to show you. Come, 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 come let me show you what, whatever they got here. Imagine entering this place, everywhere is so free. So here, there is a board. It's written, the first thing is written, free entrance. There is free entrance. Uh, and then it's written, it's called St. Nicholas Church. 
this is the saint nicholas this was another church called saint nicholas and this one was at saint sophia so this is saint nicholas church the building which combines 6th century byzantine and 14th century Gothic architectural characters was a church in the beginning used as a covered market by the stand during the Ottoman rule. The highly decorated principal doorway is the most important feature of the church. The restoration implemented by that uh, and funded by the AU, European Union and Cyprus Foundation, um, that one. So yeah, this was the St. Nicholas Church and this was Cathedral of St. Sophia. So that is all guys. When, the, when It's going to be open, I'm going to show you around. It's too sad. This was the entrance of St. Nicholas. You see the decoration, they're talking about the decoration of entering the place. It's still maintained up to date, but I think now they use it as, as a museum. There is no more churches here. Everywhere, everywhere that was a church has been converted into a mosque. That's all I have. Bedestan St. Nicholas. This is St. Nicholas. It was churches everywhere, everywhere. It was the Barnabas period. Barnabas built so many churches, but people came over and corrupted everywhere, and now it is mosque. Since there are no Christians in Mwapa, and few white people, or everyone else is uh, mostly. Yeah. So, guys, I'm going to show you the border. Yeah. Now, this is the border between the north and the south. It's just behind this building. So, uh, first of all, I want to show you the oldest markets. I want to show you the oldest market here in this city. It was built in 1935. So now it's a very large trading center where you can find uh, the Turkish architectural, architectural states, the, the whatever heritage, the artifacts, everything is in that place. But I think now it's too late, maybe it's closed. So, so sad about this place. Until next time, I'm going to show you and I'm going to post the pictures there when they're going to. This city is so old as you can see, it's so old, but they are still maintaining the place. Yeah guys, we are going to the border, see you shortly. So this is the border between the north and south. As you can see, uh, nobody is allowed yeah, people are allowed to cross, but not us. I don't know. I, I really don't understand why. People from the north are not allowed to cross to the south. But those who are in the south, they are allowed to cross to the north. Anyway, I really understand why. Because this, the other side, 100 meters from me, it's under European Union. But as you're not under European Union. So they are allowed to freely pass over. As you can see, there's a policeman who is looking at me. Oh my goodness. I don't know if we are allowed to film here. Yeah, he has mind his business. So this is the border between the north and the south. Yeah. And since there is war, first before you cross to the north, there is the Turkish army. And then you find the United Nations army. And then you'll find the Greek army. So don't see like it's so near. You just have to cross the... We're not allowed at all to cross the point. As you can see, there is tight security. Yeah. That is the north and the south border. There's that policeman there. He has looked at me. Oh my goodness. So I'm done for today. Sorry, I missed. I never entered the, the mosque. So next time I'm going to show you. Sorry for that. So as you can see, this is the border between the north and the south. I'm not sure if we are allowed to film here. So, but I have to risk for you people to see it. So we are not allowed to cross. Not So I don't know you about filming. So until next time guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing, liking and sharing. And for those who have subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. Continue with the same spirit, continue watching my videos. So until next time, see you guys. I love you so much. I thank you for the support. Bye bye.